history and the most controversial. Prince Charles once likened the outside to an academy for secret policemen. Others have been even less kind. But inside, it's spectacular. The architect hopes spaces like the humanities reading room will win over the critics. Somebody once said the most pleasurable form of criticism that you could ever have for a work of art is if somebody said, ah, it's better than any words. And I think there's quite a lot of that going on. Below ground, there are 300 kilometers of shelving on four floors and a high-tech system for identifying books and sending them to the reading rooms. The man in charge says the new building will improve services to readers and store one of the world's finest collections of books in proper conditions. If Britain is anything, well, we are a literary nation. There is no single building in Britain which reflects Britain's world status as a great nation of scholarship, learning, innovation. I hope this building will give Britain that due recognition. Regular readers have lamented the library's departure from the historic round reading room at the British Museum. So what do they think of the new building? It is very, very grand and fine. Um, and no expense has been spared by the taxpayer. Um, and the result is, 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 is pretty splendid and, and I think a, a, a credit to um, those who are behind it. But there's a snag. The new building's running costs are high. The library says its government grant is too small. It may have to start charging readers or buy fewer books. Nick Hyam, BBC News at the New British Library. A football club car park.